Lucy Luan. I'm a Guzheng player and a singer and songwriter from China. 你好，我是栾思远。这个是中国的传统乐器古筝。刚刚你听到的那一小段呢，其实是我用古筝想要去模仿一位非常伟大的印度音乐家。他的名字叫做 Shijet Khan. Today, on behalf of Chai Tea Arts Foundation, I'm going to introduce you a very remarkable musician from India. His music. 充满了神奇的魔力。每当他弹起传统又古老的西塔琴的时候，我觉得那件乐器好像就在歌唱。Jack Khan 在印度最负盛名的音乐节上都展示过他的风采，并且把他的音乐带到了全世界。And with his unique style of playing the sitar, his exceptional voice, and intuitive and spontaneous approach to the rhythm, he was very welcomed by the audiences around the globe. Uh, it's true. Uh, five decades of, of of being on stage and playing music, uh, where I am today, and uh, being part of a huge legacy, a legacy a chi chi sort. It's also a good thing, but also it can be a, it can be a burden. So for many years it was it was different. It was、uh, bittersweet. But I realized that、uh, if you persevere and you understand that yes, this is a part of my life. This is a destiny I, that was I was given, and I have to do the best work I can. But I'm I'm really, really, really one of those fortunate musicians, where you look back and see everything has kind of worked out for me. I have a, have a wonderful life. I live in this beautiful place. I have my pick and choice of my concerts.、Uh, listeners、uh, have been listening to me and.、Uh, And give me a lot of love and affection. So, all in all,、um, I'm on top of the world. I feel everything has come together now. <laughs> Sugar chatter, nar nari mil kar hi, anand ras ras gauri. साधानी ना एक साथ एक दो तीन चार निशा रेगा
in my opinion, um, Sufi is a philosophy and which is portrayed through music and verse.
when I was growing up, I was always surrounded by Indian classical music uh, at home. Uh, and then eventually when I did get into music, I started learning Western classical and stuff. And that's, you know, that's my path in music. Uh, but uh, having done a lot of uh, Western, you know, jazz, grunge, etc, etc work, I find myself more and more now when I, when I produce my, uh, say, experimental electronic music or even in some of the singer-songwriter type of songs that I write are very, very uh, uh, heavily influenced by classical and semi-classical. Even in my electronic stuff, I, use a, I end up using uh, a lot of Indian classical instruments and, and samples of, you know, great Indian classical artists from the 60s and things like that. So, uh, in, in that sense, even if I'm doing something extremely modern, uh, I still have, uh, you know, uh, Indian classical stuff in my mind and it still comes out in some uh, way or form. समझे समझे गए हम भी तू रूठे ये समां भी जाने नहीं अब तू ना मिले मेरे बाद अब तू ही बता हम क्या करें समझ समझ के तू रूठे क्या ये समां भी जाए नहीं So some of the songs I write and and compose and sing uh, I make him listen to them and uh, he likes most of them but then there are these particular ones where he's like very intrigued because in Indian classical music you don't have a lot of things like uh, harmonies and scale changes, chords, you know these are all concepts of the western world. So when I compose something semi-classical sometimes it has you know hints of that like scale changes or interesting things happening. <laughs> राह में ढूंढूं काटे नहीं
在这个数码时代，我们想要了解一个艺术家的作品啊，他的创作呀，呃，是非常非常容易的，可以通过互联网。But do they lead a simple life as ours? Yet they still leave an indelible impression on millions. Khusro darya prem ka ulti va ki dhar, jyotra so dub gaya, jo duba so par. Pia ghar aaye ji, pia ghar aaye ji. Pia ghar aaye ji, pia ghar aaye ji, pia ghar aaye ji, pia ghar aaye ji. Bhag lagye se. भाग लगे से आंगन को मेरी सखी है पिया घर See, I was born in Calcutta, and I spent a few years in Bombay. But I grew up in Simla, which is, a, of course, everyone knows it's in the mountains and it's a small place. At that time, 60s, it was even smaller. Uh, so my heart is of a small town heart. Later on, I lived in Bombay. Then I moved to Delhi. Uh, my children started going to school there, college there. So obviously, you get. It get in one place. Uh, my wife Parveen made a beautiful home for us in Chhatrapur, and I, I really we enjoyed that home. Our friends, there were dinners, 150 people, 100 people dinners every week, 10 days. Everyone used to get together. It was a great time. But I was getting to a point where I was missing a human to human uh, touch. I mean, human to human, I have with my friends, but with with strangers. I mean, with with people. So I've been going up and down to Goa enough to see that this would be a place I wanted to check out, to stay. I go up in the morning. I get up. I hang out with Mr. Sara. We take a walk when it's dawn. I I'll drive off to Aldona. I'll, if there's some few things I need to pick up, I go and meet my vegetable sellers. We are on first name terms. I know fruit people. I know fish people. I go to Sabros, which is uh, let's say bakers, where they come out with different things. They open at eight o'clock in the morning. By ten thirty, they are done. So you have to be there on time to get warm, hot, whatever you want. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the king and queen of Aldona, <laughs> Melvin and Noemi. Most of the time, I'm hanging around here anyway. See, once you walk through, you remember so many things. So sorry, so no, sorry. Thank no, you. It's okay, don't worry. Yeah. I saw her walking today. All the best. She walks very seriously, huh? Today, <laughs> very. Queen, Queen is walking. <laughs> thank you, bye. thank you so much. Bye, bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye bye, bye bye. bye, -bye. Kaha ke rukne the raste, kaha ke rukne the raste, kaha mod tha usse bhool ja. This morning I was going for a drive. I would stop. Five different places. 
to say hello to all my neighbors. Someone sends chutney over. I know the father of the church. We spend time chatting together. All the neighbors, I walk, hello, 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 how are you? What's going on? If I'm not there one day, they will catch Parveen and say, where is Shujat? And vice versa, if Shujat, where is Parveen? She didn't come. So it's just, this is a camaraderie, this is a community, which uh, we have been able to become a part of. And it's like heaven. It's everything about it is like heaven. When I go for a walk, Parveen and me, we walk for about an hour. I'll stop at least 20 different places. When I came here, uh, there was a little thought, how will I feel to be here permanently? I am really blessed that everything, I have just followed my gut and instinct. In a way, invite you to explore more about Shaja Khan, his family, his friends, the essence of his being. I belong to a small town. I come from Dehradun, he comes from Simla. And we love the greenery here, we love the weather here. Just sat and took a decision to let's go. And Goa has been very kind to us. We are very happy here. So far, so good. Touch us. When Sujat Bhai first moved to Goa, there was a somebody from the village had circulated a WhatsApp video of him, which I had circulated in uh, in my family chat. And there was a lot of excitement about you know the fact that he is our neighbor yeah. and uh, we went to their homes for lunches and dinners and they came over and down to earth down to earth considering his what he's achieved and the the, the stature yeah. uh, my husband had contacted him we went to delhi he invited us home for dinner met you know his whole family parveen the kids and then you know my husband had told me these are the rogs i'd like to listen at my concert i'm like and I said to my husband, he's an artist. You, you can't tell him what to, what to perform. Just the grace and the humor that Shujat had in handling <laughs> that whole situation um, 
That's when I really started to see him, not just as a musician, but a wonderful, warm person who always has something nice to say about everyone, who's very delicate in all sorts of situations. It has a wonderful sense of humor. Well, I know Sujat from uh, 1971. I <clears throat> joined uh, his father in Simla, and then he moved to Dehradun, and uh, I moved to Dehradun. So I spent five years in total with him, 11 months in, in the house. So I've seen uh, him grow up, and uh, uh, to me at that time, he was playing like a genius, being Vilayat Khan's son, so he was really, really playing super, super good. After every concert or after every interview, I'm, I'm hugely, hugely proud of him and whatever he's achieved till now. And maybe I'm biased, but that's what I am. Over time, we've also seen the trajectory, uh, you know, of uh, how he, of course, uh, started with pure classical, but then uh, yeah, he made his whole journey in, in, in fusion music and jamming with you know the greats from the western world and doing lots of interesting projects etc etc and now i see and, and also he says this also that uh, you know after doing that whole journey uh, he is also now coming back to a point where you know all of that is done and he's going back to you know his roots so to speak and he likes to play uh, solid Indian classical concerts and, and so I've seen that that journey happen which is really cool. I've just grown up basically on ghazals and Urdu poetry and movies but classical music quite a bit. I can differentiate a little bit between a few rags and I've really started appreciating and enjoying the Indian classical music. I mean, whether it's vocal or instrumental, both. It's just music that you never get bored of. It's something that's new every time. Um, it's a skill level that is uh, just beyond amazing. Like just when you think that they can't go faster or can't, you know, do this or it can't get any better, it does. And and, and that feeling of watching uh, someone do something that they've been doing for, like you know. 8, 12, 16 hours a day for like 30 years is uh, is amazing to watch. So it's really, uh, it's inspiring also uh, and it's lovely to listen to also, yeah. He's such a kind-hearted and very, very nice human being apart from being a super musician and uh, his uh, people love him wherever he plays and wherever he goes. He's so logical in his, uh, in his thoughts and so grounded that it's uh, it's amazing to see somebody. Uh, we do, I know many musicians, but to be so grounded and uh, having a beautiful life with a family, which is uh, which is absolutely perfect for him, and uh, really, really, very happy for him. Well, he's one of the most humble and loving people I have ever met. Unfortunately, we met late in life, but. Um, him and his wife Harveen, the son Asan, the daughter I yet have not met. It's just such a loving, friendly family, totally without airs. We hit it off at once. Yeah, he's a lovely contribution to the Goan community. He is one of those rare human beings, so famous, uh, so talented, a legend, uh, a Grammy nominee and everything and all of that and yet he is so humble. You know, he will come into the kitchen with me and stand and say, I am helping you, the drawing room, what do I have to do? He's such a great personality, always full of fun and laughter and always, he always has a joke to share and everyone knows him around here.
for me mentally emotionally physically creatively in each way i am in heaven what else can a person want is the best decision we my family and me we made in our lives and i don't regret it any any second wonderful events i've been to a very enchanting evening it was a pleasure to being able to come and view him live it's just really beautiful any of you want to come enjoy my life come and join me